Hola mis amigos, ¿cómo están? Si aún no me conocen, soy Kyle. Y aquí en nuestro canal Pensando Inglés, mi misión es traerles inglés real y comprensible para ayudarles con su inglés. Normalmente intento hacer contenido bien positivo, bien gracioso, pero hoy voy a compartir con ustedes algo muy profundo, bien complicado. Tal vez poco triste, pero comparto con ustedes mi vida real, mis experiencias reales. Así que voy a compartir con ustedes la historia de la, la relación que tenía con mi padre. Empecemos. Ok, my friends, today... I'm going to share with you guys, voy a compartir, I'm going to share with you guys something that is very deep, very complicated, uh, maybe a little sad, but it's real, okay? It's real. It's my real experiences. And I learned, uh, I learned, aprendí some valuable lessons from this. So maybe if I share these lessons with you guys, you can not only learn some English, but also a valuable lesson that maybe can help you in your life. I hope so. So, my father, mi padre. My father, he passed away on September 24th. September 24th of this year, so that is about four weeks ago. Now, when I say he passed away, se murió, okay? So, you could say he died but it's a little bit nicer, más como buen educado, to say he passed away, they passed away, okay? So my dad passed away about four weeks ago, and it, it was a very strange experience for me. It was sad, but I'm also kind of happy because I, I learned a lot, and I think I grew a lot. Crecí mucho. Y... For that, I want to share the experience with you guys. So first, I want to say that when I was younger, cuando era joven, my dad was a good dad, okay? He was a good dad. He worked really hard. He, he gave his family all that he could, okay? We had food. We had a home. My dad was a good dad when I was younger, okay? Uh, my dad taught me some, some valuable lessons in life, okay? My dad taught me how to work hard, to work hard, to earn for your family. My dad taught me how to fish, how to fish, okay, pescar, how to clean the fish, cortarlos y limpiarlos, clean the fish. And uh, something else that my dad taught me is how to, to hunt, cazar, okay, and to shoot guns, okay. So those are some of the things that I learned from my dad. And I'm happy that he taught me those things when I was younger. And I'll never forget them. Uh, that's the reason why I work hard today. Okay, I work hard on all my goals. I work hard at my job to make money. I work hard because when I was young, cuando era joven, my dad taught me how to work hard. Okay, before Anteste, before I start to talk about the deep things, I want to talk about two experiences that I had with my dad that were really good, okay? So, when I was 17 years old, me and my dad, we went, we went skydiving together, okay? We went skydiving together. This was a super cool experience. It was super fun to go skydiving with my dad. I, I really... I do not, I do not have many really good memories with my dad, but that is one of them, okay? So skydiving with my dad when I was 17 years old was an awesome memory. The second really cool experience that I shared with my dad was, uh, I was probably 25, and we went, me and my dad, we went to a concert, okay? I bought tickets for a concert and I gave them to my dad for his birthday because it was a band that he really loved, okay? It's a band, uh, old, old viejo rock band, okay? They're called Black Sabbath. This is Black Sabbath. 
And when my dad was younger, Cuando Era Joven, he loved Black Sabbath, but he never, he never got to see them at a concert. So I bought two tickets for his birthday, and we went to the Black Sabbath concert, okay? And this was the most special experience I ever had with my dad. Um, it was really cool. I've never seen my dad so happy. We were both, los dos, we were screaming, ah, yeah, yeah, screaming, and wah, <laughs> okay? It was really fun. I was drinking, goo, 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 goo. Uh, so I was having a lot of fun. My dad was not drinking because he was going to drive. But that was a super, super fun experience that I had with my dad. That is probably the best experience I ever had with my dad because I never saw him so happy, so excited, okay? So I'm glad, I'm very glad that we, we shared that experience together. So now, <clears throat> now I want to talk about the deep stuff, okay? When I was younger, me and my dad, we were close. We were close, we spent time together, we went fishing, okay, we talked. But when I was 17, my dad, he did something, okay? Hizo algo malo, okay? He did something bad and it hurt my family a lot, okay? It caused my family to go through some really hard times. We had a lot of hard times because of what my dad did, okay? I don't, it's not important what he did, but it hurt me, it hurt my sister, it hurt my mom, it hurt my family, okay? Uh, yeah, so he, he did that, and that really damaged our relationship, the relationship between my dad and my family, and he kept on going and kept on doing more bad things, more bad things, more bad things, okay? He never said, I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna try to be better, okay? He, uh, he just kept on going and going and going. Uh, sometimes humans do that, right? Sometimes we do not know how to say, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Sometimes we don't know how to do that, okay? Men, <laughs> como yo, como mis hombres, como mi padre. A veces no sabemos cómo decir lo siento. So, things kept getting worse and worse and worse. And for a long, long time, I did not speak to my dad, okay? I did not want to speak to him. I did not want to look at him. So, this was for years, years, okay? I didn't talk to my dad. Um... He was a good grandfather to my son, and he, he loved, he loves, he loved, he, he's gone now, but he loved my son so much, okay, and my son loved him. So I appreciate that, that he was a good grandpa, uh, but he and I, we did not have a good relationship. I'm 31 years old, this happened when I was 17, so for... 14 years, 14 años, I have not had a real relationship with my father. I've had a lot of pain and anger in my heart, in my heart, mi corazón. I had a lot of pain and anger for my father. Sometimes I even thought that I hated him. And that's terrible to say, but it's the truth. I do not lie to you guys. I tell the truth. So, sometimes I thought that I hated my dad, but I never really hated my dad. I was just hurt, okay? Sentí mucho dolor y por eso pensé, oh, odio a él. But it wasn't true. I, didn't, I never hated my dad. I never hated him. I was just very hurt that he did, he made bad choices that hurt my family. But... That day that he went to the hospital and the doctor said that he was not going to live very long, he was going to die. They said that my dad would pass away any day. I, I had no more anger. I had no more pain in my heart. The only thing I wanted was for my dad to get better. I just wanted my dad to get better so that we could work on our relationship and have a new start. Okay, so we could have a new relationship again. 
That was all that I wanted. I said that if he needs a new kidney, they could take one of mine. Okay, if they needed blood, I would have gave it. Anything that I could have done, I would have done to help my dad, to save my dad's life, and then to try and help him to become happy and healthy again, to have a relationship with his family again. When he got sick and he went to the hospital, that was the only thing that I wanted. La única cosa que quería fue ayudar, salvar mi padre. So, <clears throat> sometimes there's nothing you could do. I prayed, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed, okay? Um, and I would have done anything to save him and to have a second chance for a relationship with my dad. But, uh, didn't happen but I learned a lot of important things okay I learned some very important lessons from this I will never never in my life do anything to hurt my son or my family and if I do I will tell them that I'm sorry and I will try to make it better and there's one other experience that I want to tell you guys about that was a, a beautiful moment in my life, okay? I will never forget this. Nunca voy a olvidarlo. I have not touched, touched my dad, not a handshake, not a hug, for 14 years, okay? No he tocado mi padre, ni un abrazo, ni los manos, ni nada, okay? In 14 years, because we did not have a real relationship. But, when I went to visit him and he was in the hospital, he was in the hospital bed and he had tubes in his neck, in his arms, IVs and all kinds of machines hooked up to him. He had tubes up his nose so that he could breathe. Okay, when I walked in, my dad put out his hand. He put out his hand so that he could hold my hand. And I held his hand, and he was just rubbing my fingers like this. But I know, I know that he was trying to tell me, I'm sorry, and I love you. And after that, I don't have any more anger in my heart for my dad. I don't hate my dad. I wish my dad was still here. So that we could try again to have a father and son relationship. I know now, I know now that my dad was not, he was not an evil person and he didn't even want to do these bad things. But he had a lot of pain in his heart and he had problems just like you, just like me. Some of us know how to deal with our problems better, but he did not know. So, the lesson that I learned from all of this that I want to share with you guys is if you have a mother or a father or your brother or your sister, maybe your, your son or your daughter, and you guys do not have a real relationship because of something that happened in the past, let it go. Forget about it. Forgive them, okay? I'm not saying... I am not saying that you have to be best friends with this person, that you have to spend all the time in the world with them, but let that pain go, okay? Don't hate anybody. When you have hate in your heart, it's only hurting you, okay? For years, I had pain in my heart. For years and years and years, I had pain in my heart because of the things that have happened in my life between myself and my dad. But I'm grateful that in the end, he knew that I was there for him. And I think he knew that I forgive him, and that I love him. So guys, let's try our best, okay? Let's try our best to treat each other right to not hurt each other, okay? To forgive the people that we actually love who hurt us. 
Thank you guys for watching. This video is in honor of my father, Roland Singer. Rest in peace, Dad.